Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy, I'm Nick Arky, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys a Season 7 theory that could actually be true and make sense about the whole entire thing. I'm explaining it all in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it, and do not forget to let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on this theory, along with your theories yourself. Let me know down below in the comments. Without further ado, it's your boy, Nick Arky, and let's get right into our shout-out subs. So my two sub shout outs in this video, I think I'm saying this name right, goes to Corbin Garza. Thank you so much for coming out to the channel. And also shout out to my man, Young Icy Kevin. Thank you guys both for subscribing to the channel. If you be these guys, shout out, shout out in my future videos. As always, make sure you hit that big red button in there. That's subscribe. Without further ado, it's Winogard. And let's get right into the theory. So I am super, super, super happy to announce to you guys that I am now monetized on YouTube. And that means there's super chat in my live stream. So if you guys are in my live stream, which by the way, you should. Super great vibe. Super all around. But if you guys want to go my live stream, you can now donate to me by the super chat. It's a pretty good feature. I'm just announcing it to you guys. So I keep you guys updated with the channel. And now let's get right into the video, by the way. Sorry. And now we're talking to you guys about the huge Season 7 Fortnite storyline theory that might actually come true. To be honest, it's probably going to come true, but I'll be explaining to you guys. But first off, shout out to Fort Troy, and I think I'm saying this name right, Tasty. It's on screen right now, so that's to them. Links in the description. But they basically made this whole cycle right here explaining the whole theory, and we're going to be talking about it. So the title of this thing says, The Fire King is going to be the Week 9 Snowfall Skin. So if you guys don't know what the Snowfall Skin is, it's basically every season, once you complete 9 or 8 weeks of challenges, you will get a skin, and they think the fire king is going to be the skin so i love this theory especially because they made it like a cycle form not just a paragraph form so the cycle is super easy to read and super better like to understand so the first thing it says was he was trapped by the ice king to prevent him from destroying the kingdom that he built so the fire king was trapped by the ice king to prevent the destroying of the ice king's kingdom so the next thing i have for you guys that follows it up it says there was a total of five kings but we do not know what happened to the rest of them the fire king's chair was kicked over so something happened to him him a fight between the fire and the ice king perhaps and then it says picture one this is the picture it's talking about as you can see there is a table of five chairs you can't see because the top left part of the screen is covered up but this table is surrounded by five chairs and the one chair is moved over like it's like um back like someone pushed it over so we're going to get into the next thing that follows it up so then it gets into the snowfall skin is going to be the fire king why look at the name of the challenges snowfall the snow kingdom will fall so you guys know fortnite likes to do a lot of wordplay in their challenges and hints and all that so it could hint that the snow kingdom is going to fall i don't know but then it gets into there was also a texture found in the files that stated something about a prisoner the logo on the prisoner's body texture is the same logo that was on the table and the chair it was a flame so you can see again by looking at the same picture at the top right it is basically a picture of a flame slash the fire king. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving this theory so far. It makes a lot of sense, but we're not over yet. It says, ice usually melts when it gets warm. The prisoner slash fire king is melting the castle down since the beginning. It melts around the prisoner. Check the picture. In the ice that is left is the prisoner located. He almost melted his way out of it. So in picture two, you can see right now that the ice is almost done melting and the last part of it is in the prison. So the fire king could be in there. We're going to have to find out. And then after that, it says the Fortnite map has also a big desert on it. So it's probably also the reason why the ice is melting. And then it gets into the Ice King is going to start a big ice storm. If you guys do not know about the ice storm, here is what the thing says on the TVs. There's a countdown. By the way, the countdown for this, if you guys do not know, it is at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll be live streaming the whole thing for you guys as well. But then it gets into he will use the cube fragment that the aim skin bring to him seeing the week nine loading screen in the season six you guys can see the loading screen right now it makes sense to bring back the cube monster so it all makes sense so far you can see by the loading screen this is crazy but if you guys are a little confused on what he means by like the ice storm and the cube monsters go on fort troy's twitter and just scroll through a whole new thing that he has going on you'll meet everything and know what's going on but now let's get back into the thing he says this time they're going to be a lot stronger talking about the cube monsters he knows that the players will struggling to defeat the cube i was not struggling to defeat the cube monsters the cube monsters are beaten by me i don't know why i said that 
So that was kind of awkward. But now we're going to get into the whole last part of the theory. It says he wants to turn the whole island into snow so that the Fire King won't be able to escape and get revenge on him. So this whole theory revolves around the Ice King and the Fire King having little beef. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. That was the whole theory. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Do you think it's going to happen? And also let me know your own theories down below in the comments. I think it's going to happen. It seems pretty logical if you think about it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new, guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video and a brand new stream. I'll see you guys there. Peace.